Hey, it's Antti. Today I'm gonna show you three cool things you can do with Adobe's Image Stack Blending Modes. Let's check it out. A few days ago I saw uh, this picture. It's been taken by my friend Mark and I was kind of curious how he did it and I kind of had some kind of idea and I asked him how he got this painterly look because in my mind uh, he might be using this image stack blending mouse but he used a bit different technique with, um, in this. But anyways, this got me going on to doing a bit of a tutorial about these image stack blending modes. There's these statistic mathematical blending modes you can add to multiple pictures to create, for example, these kind of artistic pictures, or you can even disappear people from your images. Or So I'm gonna teach you three cool things you can do with these and how you can kind of apply them to your own work. And as always, be sure to su subscribe and hit that bell if you want me to create more of these videos but now let's head into the Lightroom and Photoshop and I will show you what I am talking about. So here we are in Lightroom where I've uh, imported a couple of pictures. Um, so first uh, cool thing you can do with these blending mode uh, stacks um, is to make this kind of a cool artist picture that I already showed you by Mark. And so this is the technique that I thought he used, but he used a bit different technique, but this is how I would do this artistic painterly look portrait. Uh, so I went uh, near the lake with my son and I took multiple pictures. So I'm shooting handheld and I'm keeping the focus point um, always the same. I'm shooting the same, so here it, it's, it was my son's back. So I'm shooting number of frames and every time it's the same focus point. So as you can see, my hand slightly moves, but I try to keep it everything steady. The water moves, the clouds moves, the, the, the hay in the background moves, and I will get a stack of images like this. So how we gonna turn this stack off, I will have here 25 frame, 24 frames into this piece of art. So I will show you. Uh, so um, I've already developed these here in in Lightroom. Uh, since they are DNG, the, all the setups, all the settings that I've done are embedded in those. So now you can go into Photoshop and you go uh, the file scripts and statistics. And then it's open up your dialog called image statistics, choose stack mode, uh, choose the files and browse. So here first the browse and you try to find those files that you have. So I have already named them boy. So here we have boy from 1 to 24. So I select all those frames and select open. Then I choose the choose stock stack mode i will put it in median median and i just press ok but before that uncheck the attempt to automatically align source images so you will allow that movement otherwise it will line up all the images perfectly and you'll get a sharp image so uncheck that if it's not already unchecked so let's leave it the uh, variety of slight movements to the pictures and i just press ok so now Photoshop will do its work. It'll uh, make a stack of layers of all those 24 uh, images and then uh, use mathematical, ma mathematical equation to, m to make those kind of a combine those images in a cool way. So let's wait a while. It took some time, but finally, because a big file, 24 frames, so what what it did photoshop made a smart object of all those layers that i have selected and then applied this uh, median like a plugin or filter for the, all those layers and now you can see i'm i have this nice artistic almost like a painting looking image um, done from my images and if you you know double click the open up the 
your um, this a uh, smart object, you will see that it's a stack of all those layers put together. Uh, it's a huge file because of the 24 different frames now, but I will just open up so you see what's going on in there. So here you can see the stack of all these all these images in this smart object, 24 frames, and then it just applies this median uh, kind of a filter to it, and especially if you look to the the, the waterline and with these bar, uh, these branches, it looks really really cool, kind of a artistic painterly look anyway. So this is how you can do this painterly look from multiple frames. Be sure to shoot the same exactly location, slightly movements are okay, and then just do this uh, for your image, all the images, and you will get this cool painterly look. I will do a small test on the other one, I will sh show you another fo uh, way you can do this. And you can go fi uh, File, Scripts, and then Load Files into Stack. So what this does, it's only going to load those images and not going to apply that filter yet. So I'm going to choose the flowers, so there's a 14 frames, different, uh, different shots. We don't attempt to ultimately align, because if we align, it will make the pictures, uh, there's no movement in those pictures. But let's create that smart object so we don't have to do it afterwards. And again, so Photoshop is going to open up all those layers, going to make a stack out of them and then going to make them into a, some one single smart object. So here we have now the smart object and so it will have inside of that the 14 different frames. And if you want, we want to do the same thing now. We go to layer and we go smart objects and here we can choose the stack mode and we choose median. You can test out all the other um, kind of a features that they have. It will always make something different according to these mathematical um, equations. I will post the link below how the Adobe explains what they are doing. Um, they are selecting darkest pixels or lightest pixels of, of, of stuff or, or different stuff. So really mathematical. But as you can see, even from those 12 different pictures, I'm getting this really painterly artistic look for my image and I mean you can use that for anything to make your pictures look kind of a painterly. So that's a, the first thing um, about these uh, stack modes you can use. Uh, you can always go and change uh, if you want to try out smart objects stack mode and you can see that median is already selected so let's try out summation. It might turn out Totally weird. Yeah, as you can see, tell. Let's try something else. Layer, smart objects, stack mode. Um, let's choose skewedness, whatever that means. Well, that's a definitely artistic thing. So with these you can create also weird art. So let's move also to the other thing you can do with these uh, blending modes. So um, for example I have here a stack of images, uh, actually four images of my son running one, two, three, four, five. So imagine that you are shooting let's say a parking, uh, you know, a landscape and there's a person walking uh, in your kind of a stack of images and and you you would like to remove that person from the images. So imagine there's a person walking in your scene and you have taken uh, five different shots of the same environment and you want to remove you know something moving even a bird or even a car. So with this thick technique you can also do that. So let's choose now go to Photoshop, let's go to File, Scripts and then statistics. Let's choose median, let's choose browse and we'll choose those five frames there and we attempt to automatically align source images. So now the Photoshop is going to look at the images and t twist and turn them so they exactly match each other and magically my son will disappear from the image like this. 
So my son is now, ga now gone. And you can see still the stack is here with these different frames, but the med median kind of a looks in the wood has changed and kind of a, uh, removes those. So you can, let's say you shoot a street, for example, like a, uh, from, from up high, and you can actually take multiple shots of the cars moving around over there and you just you, you get all those stacks, stacked images together and just uh, use this so you'll get a clear road without any cars. So I think that's a cool uh, kind of way of using these uh, things. Uh, third thing you can use um, is to kind of remove noise. Um, at the moment, I think the light rooms uh, remove noise is really efficient. Um, I wouldn't use this technique uh, anyways, but I just show you how the median works by removing no noise. So I have a shot here taking like a, you can see really heavy grain here. Um, I can choose maybe some of those images. So I will choose, go again the same stuff file scripts and statistics browse and you choose where's my noise i have seven pictures of the noise eight pictures of the noise choose them attempt them to align automatically so here you need to align them and let's choose median and just okay because usually the every single picture has the noise has is slightly different and slightly in the different places so that's why it's able to multiply those frames and blend them together and remove the noise, noise, for example, on these pictures. I think the Lightroom plugins and, and all the other noise uh, does also a really good job, but this is just to show you um, what could be done also using this median um, and stacked layers. So let's zoom in slightly, for example, here and let's Double click and open up so you'll see the change in the noise. And also the same place. So as you can see this was in my original files. You can see the chain noise is changing slightly in these images. So that's why it's able to and uh, to do this and in my final image the noise is somewhat gone. But this of course needs multiple frames to do, but I would definitely use also the Lightroom and um, maybe a noise removing uh, plugins to get rid of noise, but this was the third one you can do with these, uh, this technique. So uh, I really hope that you like this and you are able to create something new. If you like these videos, put a thumbs up. Put a comment, have you ever tried these or even know about these statistics blending modes that they're uh, existing. Um, please subscribe to the channel, it will always make my day and the interaction uh, with, with this channel, it's, it's, it's always cool. And hit that bell button if you want me to uh, get the, the latest uh, when I'm posting my videos. This is all. I'm still on my summer vacation, one week left, and I will be seeing you on my next videos. Cheers!